How's it going everyone and welcome back to my FIFA 17 Fulham career mode. This is episode 14 now and in the two previous episodes we had the perfect episodes and uh, we won all six of our games. So our winning streak continues and uh, that's really allowed us to crawl our way back into playoffs and we're actually not that far off now from the top of the table which would be awesome automatic promotion would make this season end so much better of course anyway we're going to crack on today three more games coming up for you today three more championship games i believe they will be and we could see if we can get up to first place today it'll be tough but if we win all three again then a nine game winning streak will certainly help us and our first game today is going to be against cardiff city so of course uh ian Acho returned to the scenes last week. He keeps his place on the bench though as Aluko stays in the first team just for now and we'll see if we need to make any adjustments maybe sometime in the future. But this is going to be the team, pretty standard team as usual. Let's crack on and get ourselves on another win. And of course as I mentioned, I think it's the start of most episodes we seem to see this but uh, we're still at the top there with best defensive teams. We're actually now about eight goals uh, sort of clear of Villa as one of the best defensive teams, which is really handy. And I have to say, I think that is something to do with the signing of Donnarumma. He's been absolutely fantastic in net for us. I think he's only conceded like one goal. So let's hope he keeps up his good form. And of course, Sigurdsson and Reem doing their jobs as solid at centre back as well. Not to forget about them. Anyway, first game today against Cardiff City. If we can pick up a win here, as it's an early chance for Cardiff, this will really help our push in playoffs. Of course, playoffs is. Uh, is one of our main, is the main, the least I expect to get out of today's, uh, sorry, out of this this season. I at least want to finish in the playoffs. I know we had that bad run of form, and honestly, I thought it wasn't looking likely, but now it's looking good. Anything better than the playoffs would be a bonus. I don't really want to come second because although it's automatic, yeah, I'll take it. But you don't seem to, you don't really win anything. If we're in the playoffs, at least we could, you know, play our final. We get to go to Wembley and all that, and potentially, you know, pick up some silverware in theory. And of course, if we win the league, even better for us. But target is, of course, playoffs. Anything better than that will be perfect, and we'll see if we can get into the Premier League next season. Good interception by Cabano. Here is Hozabed, of course, been in good scoring form. So is Aluko, and the pair have been linking it well, and they do again here, but good pressure from the defender, and Hozabed can't finish his chance. Good interception, but played on, really. Knocked forward to Cabano, who's got the pace to beat the defence. He's beaten about three of them and goes for the strike. It's a good save by Ben Amos. It's Aluko. Can he turn his man? Gets tripped. Free kick. We did, of course, score a free kick in the last episode, and for whatever reason, it didn't count. We are absolutely robbed of that one, so can Aluko make it up here? I think he's the best from the left-handed position. He does appear to be so, so can Aluko took one away. Aite put it in the back of the net last time, and it was disallowed. It's Aluko with an effort. Didn't quite get enough curl. Not too bad, not too bad of a height. It just went a little bit wide there. I think the keeper may have got to that if it'd be on target. Though. Not a bad effort from Aluko. Good play. Kearney is Parker, who's in support. Hosabed is in support. Can he find some space into the box? He avoids the slide tackle, is able to pull it back. Kearney is there. What a wonderful strike. And it's 1-0. Fantastic. Good effort there. Brilliant goal, really. It was nice play from, uh, from Hosbed. He really did well to create the space. Avoided the slide challenge, which allowed him to create a cross. Everyone seemed to back off Kearney, but he still had a lot to do from there. Hits, takes it first time, didn't really get the opportunity to take a touch there. With about two defenders and the goalkeeper covering the space, somehow forces it in. He only gets his second goal of the season, but it's an important one. It's put us 1-0 up here. And that is then half-time, so another great start to the episode. No major opportunities for either sides. We had a decent effort from a free kick from Aluko, but it was wet. it was deep into the half where Hosabed played some nice little football, was able to avoid a sliding challenge and create some space in the box. He was able to drag it back to find Kenny, who was unmarked. Beautiful first-time volley fires into the back of there, and it goes into half-time. Cardiff City nil, Fulham 1. Kenny, if we can grab another goal before that half, that would be nice. Here's Parker. We'll try one with Hosabed then. Oh, and it's beautiful. It's absolutely fantastic. What a finish. Beautiful strike from the edge of the area. Hosabed, we know he doesn't really want to miss from there. And he's pick, he's continuing his goal scoring form and he's doubled our lead here. There it is. The nice pass inside. Again, some players have dropped off him which allowed him to create the space and just rockets that home. It's a beautiful curler right into the corner of the net. No real opportunity for the goalkeeper. It just curls towards that, that post and uh, beats the keeper in net. It's 2-0. And with that goal then, now that we're feeling a little bit more comfortable in the game, I will now make our substitution. It is now into the half an hour mark, so 
our standard substitutions. So I'm going to bring McDonald on for Parker. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring Ian Acho behind Aluko. And uh, we'll see what he can do there. Because I want to give Ian Acho some game time still. still think he's a very good player, but not, not good enough yet to be able to force Aluko out of the team. He's just in good form. Although, you know, Aluko hasn't scored here just yet, so... Potentially, if Aluko doesn't score in this game and Inacho makes a good impact substitute, perhaps he'll, perhaps he'll get his start in the next game. That's kind of how we're going to play it out for the rest of the season, really. And Ricky Lambert makes way then as Pilkington comes onto the pitch as the Cardiff corner is cleared away. And Inacho could prepare a counter-attack here and he's going to do it with a link-up to Aluko. What's Aluko got for support? He's got plenty of runners for support, Aite being one of them. Can he get the pace to run away from the defender? He can. Can he find a shot? He can, but it rolls along the floor. It's easy for Amos in goal in the end then. Nice. McDonald. That's nice. Is he an actor then? Can he turn his man? He's going to provide an assist for Aluko, which he does indeed, and we are romping Cardiff here. Inacho picks up an assist, and Aluko picks up a goal. Some more great play into the box. Inacho may have may have gone alone, but instead he decides not to be selfish, and he passes it to our front man there, Aluko, who tucks it away for 3-0. That's pretty much the end of the game here. Here's the play. It's a nice ball into Ianacho. Ianacho does well just to stop his run, hold up the play, sees Aluko, who's in loads of space, and he's not going to be missing from there. Great finish, it's 3-0, and that's Aluko's 17th goal of the season now. We will take a look at some stats towards the end of the season, of course, don't worry about that, top goal scorers, etc, etc. And uh, as Cardiff do get an opportunity there to drag at least one back, we're going to make a substitution, and we'll give Sobi some game time, we'll rest Aito, who I think has also had a fantastic game. He finds Morrison, risky play here, very risky, Aluko nicks it back, Is Cabano... Is he an actor going to make a good run? He does. Did he stay on side? I think he did. He slides down and he puts it in the back of the net. And it is 4-0. That one is going to count. Absolutely fantastic there. It was, it was an attack by Cardiff. Booted away by, I think, Sigurdsson. Aluko wasn't quite alert to it. Didn't have enough pace. Kept on by Cardiff. They tried to then risky play against the Black. Nicked by Cabano in the end. And uh, waited for the run of Iheanacho. Iheanacho does very well just to run off that shoulder. I thought he'd have strayed offside. It was not the best of passes by Cabana. Just in front of Ianacho, had to stretch for it as Amos charged him down, but kept his cool, slid it home into the back of the net. And another goal from the bench for Ianacho, and it's 4 0 here. And that is going to be the end of the match. Another fantastic performance and a great win for us here away at Cardiff. Started by Kearney opening the goals in the first half with a nice cross from Hosbed Kearney with a first time volley to volley it into the back of the net to take the lead in the second half. In the in the first half, into the second half, and uh, Hosebed double a lead with a nice strike from the edgy area. Aluko then netted himself a goal after a great assist by Ianacho. Ianacho then turned from provider to goal scorer, and a nice run from him. A beautiful pass, really, from Cabano. Ianacho did well to hold his run, had to stretch for it in the end as Amos charged him down, but stood for it, kept his composure, and found the back of the net. It's finished here, Cardiff City nil, Fulham 4. And uh, just in that other result, then Aston Villa were defeated by Derby 2-1. That was not a bad result for us, in theory. Uh, it doesn't help Villa. I think Derby were a little bit ahead of them in the table, so that's given them a bit of daylight. We were closing down Villa, as Bettinelli becomes a 70-rated player there. Good training session from him. Uh, just in the news... Uh, Fulham's new hero. Sales of shirts with the name Sobi will surely be rocketing since his arrival at Fulham with a number of good performances recently. Ramadan Sobi must have made his name in the first first on the team sheet. Okay, don't quite agree with that one, but we'll see what happens. At least we're getting a nice little break between games now, but we have a game coming up here as it's now seven straight wins for us. Team for the game against Preston, I think we're just going to stick with what is working for now and the impact substitutions will, of course, make way. Let's jump into the game. Here we go, then. We are back at Craven Cottage after that nice short trip and light work we made of Cardiff in the previous match, winning 4-0, of course. And our visitors today are Preston North End. Didn't get a look at the league table before the start of the match, which was a little bit of a shame. Not sure why... We didn't get to see them, but I believe that 4-0 victory over Cardiff has really bolstered us. And I think we're actually sat in third at this moment in time. So, can we make easy work of Preston as again they get the first opportunity and they get themselves a corner? Trying to make a little bit of trouble here, which we don't like. Can we defend this corner? Jermaine Beckford is the man who wins the, uh, wins the corner there and his shot is wide. 
back to Aluko. Plays it through. Here's Hosabed. That's nice. It's back out to Cabano. He finds Scott Parker. He can hit them from there as well. Oh, and he does. And it's another absolute rocket from Scott Parker. And those shots from outside the area just seem to be going in from all angles for us. Hosabed in the last game. McDonald in a previous episode. Parker against Birmingham earlier on in the season. Then Parker again here against Preston North End. And we, nice and early on, open our account here for today. Good little pass. Created a lot of space. Nice little rocket. Again inside that post. Keeper had no chance. It's 1-0. And I think that is going to be it. Is it ref? It is no time for the throw in then. And that is going to be half time. It's another 1 0 win at the half. Preston came out the blocks flying, to be fair, and they had the first few opportunities. A couple of corners as well, some good shots, but easy really for Donnarumma. And then it was us who was able to take the lead with a beautiful strike from Scott Parker on the 15th minute, just from outside the area. Chances from both teams as well after that to increase the goals here, but no more were found and no more hit the back of the net. And we go into half time, it's Fulham 1, Preston North End 0. <clears throat> Second half again, it's a substitution by Preston, Alex Baptiste makes way and Ben Davis comes onto the field. That was a risky pass and Luco can find himself with the ball here. Can he find a little bit of space? He can. Can he provide a cross? He can. Cabano is there and that makes it 2-0. Poor, uh, poor play by Preston. They were passing it around like passing it around the back. Luco pressurised the defender, wins the ball, turns his man, gets himself to box, drills a nice pass along. Cabano is there. Toe pokes at home into the back of the net and we double our lead here. It's 2-0. And that is going to be Cabano's seventh goal of the championship. He's starting to pick up the goals. Now, with that, we are going to make some early substitutions because, as you may have seen, we do have leads within two days' time. So it's going to be Inacho on for Luca and Hosabed off for McDonald. So we're going to rest our two star players. I'd like them to start against, uh, against Leeds, so I need them as fit as possible. Of course, Inacho more than capable of providing... His services up front here for us too, just to make sure we see this game out. But again, in the driving seat and in control really here. So Gallagher, this is nice play. Good strike. Oh, it's a beautiful finish. Talking about finding those sweet spots from outside the area there. Parker does one in uh, the first half of this game. Hosbed in the previous. And then Gallagher as well finds one. It wasn't the best of defendings by me. It was pretty poor. Allowed Gallagher's loads of space. This is beautiful effort. Nice, nice composure. Great effort. Good shot. Hits the post, I believe, in off the post. Yeah, Donnarumma, really. No chance of that one. Preston have pulled one back. It's 2-1 here. Ianacho on as a substitution. Bullies off all his men. Goes around th about three of them. Can he go around some more? He can. Ianacho! Oh, beautiful shot. Rebound, Ianacho! No. And eventually it's cleared away by Preston. I think uh, as uh, Preston make one more substitution, I think I just want to strengthen up that midfield a little bit. We're going to bring Johansson on and we'll swap him up and drop McDonald back in the midfield. Parker just looking a little bit tired. Congratulations to him on that goal that he scored in the first half and opened the scoring. Woods with a nice ball in to McKennock who in the end just chests it instead of going for the header. And the Donnarumma saves. Poor distribution though because it's straight back in the possession of Preston. That's not the best of efforts. Ream is able to deal with that one. Here's Johansson. Could be a counter-attack here. Can we see the game out now? Ianacho. Nice one-two with Johansson. Here is Johansson. Still Johansson. And there it is. Just in case there was any little bit of pressure towards the end of the game. We seal that one off with a brilliant counter-attack. Started there. It was a Poor sort of chip through ball by Preston, easily cleared by, I think it was Ream who heads it away. It finds Johansson who can pass it to Inacho, realises he hasn't quite got the pace but Johansson is making a good run, plays it back through to Johansson then and he'll took that one away to make it 3-1 and that is his first goal of the championship, quite surprisingly there. I thought he might have, um, might have netted a few more but obviously it doesn't get as much game time as perhaps credited so um, or as perhaps deserves but there you go is just enough for us to see the game out and there it is that is the end of the two minutes so it's another performance and the form continues and we go romping on into this league back to the top of the table it opened up with the first half strike by Parker to take the lead 1-0 it went into half time into the second half we went then and we were able to double our lead thanks to Hosebed I do believe who took it away Preston pulled one back late on um, but their fight wasn't enough 
Sorry, it was Cabana who got the second. Yeah, Preston pulled one back with Gallagher with half an hour to go, but it wasn't enough for them, and Johansson was able to see off any pressure in the 86th minute to make it three. And uh, another victory for us. A good result for us here. It's finished Fulham three, Preston North End one. And some of the results, Derby did, of course, take that 2-0 victory. Looks like Villa didn't play. Leeds and Birmingham had out to a draw there. So there are two main targets as uh, another training session goes in. And uh, Hosbed's finishing there goes up to a 77 with a C in his training derail. Got a few emails to deal with here. Press conference. Don't care. Don't really care. And Matt Smith has asked to be loaned out. Um, we could do that. We could probably sell him at the end of the season, to be honest. Not really interested in using him. We continue our winning ways. It doesn't say how many we are on now. But our final game of the episode then is going to be against Leeds United. Hopefully, 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 the, the bringing off Hosbed and Aluko earlier as Cooley Woodrow wants to discuss his wages. Doesn't get played, so I'm not really too sure why I'd pay you any more. But there we go. So we'll leave that one for now. Probably end up selling him sometime soon as well. But a final game against Leeds. Yep, taking a Luko and Hosabad there has allowed them to recover enough that they can start the game. Midfield looking a little bit tired. So in terms of substituting out the team, Aite is going to come off. Um, Johansson, McDonald. I think we, yeah, why not play them both? We'll put Parker there. We'll take Barno off for Johansson. They can stay on the bench though. That can be the bench. I think Aite... Is uh, Saka still injured? We're going to give Cole a spot on the bench, see if he can get any chances. Our defence is looking pretty solid, and we don't really want to change that around because they've not been conceding too many goals. That's going to be the team for Leeds United, the final game of the episode. Can we make it another three from three? Let's find out. Here we go then. Our final game is at home to Leeds. It's been back-to-back -back perfect episodes with three wins from three in each of them in the two previous episodes. Another one here. It's two from two so far. Will it be three from three? And we'll really be crawling back up to that top spot sometime soon. We're definitely cementing our place in the playoffs, which is what we really wanted. Season starting to also come to a head. So we just want to keep this good run of form going. And we can certainly do that by picking up another three points here against Leeds United. Particularly Kearney. No, struggled. Pushed off the ball by Taylor. That is going to be half time. So the first time in quite a long while in a couple of games it is half time and it's stalemate there was really no opportunities for either sides I think mostly Leeds were one of the better teams we just struggled to get a grip in that game and control the midfield and credit to Leeds but uh, both good defending from both sides and it goes into half time Fulham nil Leeds United nil so there's some half time substitutions uh, Kenny sorry Kenny really struggling in that midfield and it gives a chance for Cole then who looks a good pacey player that's about all he can do but it gives a chance for him to make his name known then we need a little bit of something here um, yeah. Aluko and Hosabed are uh, struggling at the top as well just um, so those back to back games which really get to us we haven't had um, too many in quite a while but as you can see here we're just struggling to outpace the two teams saying that though you know Leeds also had a game a few days ago so no excuses but just need to try and get a bit of control back here. Early opportunity in the half for Leeds. Good save by Donnarumma. The first time he's really been called into action here for this match. His Sobi then as we get our first real chance of the game. And it goes down. That's a wild challenge referee. It's going to be a card. Good opportunity for us here. It is going to be a yellow card. That's what we wanted to see for Gitano Berardi there. Uh, good opportunity here to cross a ball into the box. Let's see what we can do. It's going to be Sobi to whip it in. It's nice. It's almost fallen for us, but not quite. Cole trying to close it down. Can't really find anybody on the edge of the area. We're actually going to bring Ianacho on here. I think now is a good opportunity. Hosbed looking a little bit tired also. But let's get Ianacho into the field of play. Luco just struggling there a little bit. And as we have a free kick, which we can cross into the box, definitely best if Ianacho is in there. For us, we could actually. Do you know what? I kind of fancy this. What? I know we've just actually we've just took uh, we've just took we've got Johansson though, who's a decent free kick taker. Let's uh, why not? It's quite a weird angle, but if we can just swing it back in. In fact, now I've changed my mind. Actually, I don't want to risk it. We're just going to whack a little ball into the box. That's definitely the better option. Good save by the goalkeeper. It wasn't the best free kicks. Always struggled to uh, to make the most of those opportunities from there. Did fancy the shot, but just really the wrong sort of angle. Callas, though, is going forward. Substitute Ianacho! Oh, it's, in off the, it's off the bar. McDonald with the rebound. Good save by Silvestri. 
You know, you can't win them all. And Leeds just standing strong here, really struggling to break them down. But Ian Acho, Hosebeds kept his run. He stayed on side, can hit that one across. Oh, it's miles. It's inches away from going to the back of the net. We're going to have to make a substitution. Uh, I think it's going to be Cabano. He's always full of life. We'll bring Hosebed off, struggling really to get into this game. That was the first thing he's pretty much done. And he rockets it wide of the post. One back. McDonald then. Here's Cabano. Play forward. Johansson. Loses it and referee calls for full time. So it is a stalemate here and for the first time in a very long while we've unfortunately not been able to pick up any, well pick up the win. And we drop the three points here and take away just the one which is fine for us, you know. A point is a point and helps us a long way in this league. Unfortunately Derby did draw, I do believe, we'll confirm that in a moment. Which means we could have capitalised on that with a victory but... It just wasn't to me. No real opportunities in that game for either team. Good defending by both sides as well. Inacho came on as a substitution and was able to hit the bar, but that was about all really. And it's finished here. Fulham nil. Leeds United nil. And uh, just to confirm that result then, it was Derby 2, Preston 2. Villa took Villa did win 2-0 at Huddersfield. So not the best results for us all round there. Good to see Derby dropping points, but we couldn't capital capitalise. We have uh, Newcastle next, who we took on as our first game of the season. But that's going to have to wait for the next episode, because that is, of course, our three games for today. As we leave you with the league table, Derby County then are top of the league by one point. But they have played an extra game than Norwich, who are behind them in second. We've moved up to third, with Villa dropping points, but two games back from us so they can reclaim back that third place which means we're pretty much sat in fourth at the moment. Newcastle and Reading in fifth and sixth to round off the playoff places. Ipswich, QPR, Brighton, Sheffield Wednesday are the remaining top ten. At the bottom of the table then it's Preston, Barnsley and Burton Albion who finds themselves in the relegation areas. Well that's it for today's episode. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Why not subscribe as well if you're new around here and until next time goodbye.